eyes east. From morning to dusk, east is all Rust Hilt can think about. The Hub and Squin have been a bastion of hope for Rust Hilt, Ruka, and Hobbs, but deep within the belly of his very soul, Rust Hilt stirs, uneasy. He did not start to wander the waste to settle down as an ore miner for some town who regularly chastises him for being the race that he is. No, Rustilt still feels the echoes of his parents screaming for vengeance in his dreams. East. Look beyond the hills to a small settlement. Perhaps out that way they'll find some new friends. But just as likely, our enemies in wait to kill them. Or enslave them. Or long-forgotten technology from the ancients that they could use or sell. Possibilities. That's what lies east. In the end, it doesn't matter. Rust Hilt must know. This is all our friends can think about. And it's all the only thing I can think about as well. What lies here in this tiny settlement? That's been my goal for a while and will be the goal, I believe, for this particular uh, episode or at least recording session to get ourselves in a particular situation where we feel comfortable sending at least a couple people out that way. The question is what exactly we want or need in order to feel comfortable heading out that way. So we got to start with the basics. Rust Hilt, Rook, and Hobbs are doing what they always do. Planning. Planning what they're going to be doing when they head east or how they're going to do it. And the first thing that comes to mind is money. They have a source of cash. It's ore and it's just outside the city walls. And it's pretty safe to go about that way. However, it's been tedious uh, to grab what they can and then sell it after they get their backpacks full. The constant need to pay close attention to everything that's being done in order to make a a enough money. If there was only a way we could automate it and then an idea strikes. Well, we did just do a bunch of research and that research is going to allow us to store some things. Uh, so what we're gonna want is maybe to store copper. Uh, it's only going to take one iron plate to do it, but as long as we have a place to store copper, I'm told we can start actually automating the process of mining. An exciting uh, prospect for all of them. Now, we'd have to dedicate one of our three friends here to be doing that, um, but it's something we can make, we can, we can kind of make work. So if we confirm that, is there anything over there? Yeah, okay, there it is. Uh, I don't know if we have any metal plates right now, iron plates rather, but we have some money. I know, you don't have any building supplies. Hobbs is just mad that we even thought that we were going to put anything there without having any building supplies. But, I mean, we have some money uh, and we need to be buying those supplies. So let's see if we can grab ourselves some metal plates from maybe the closest general store. We'll only send out, as of right now, uh, Rust Hilt to do it. In the meanwhile, Ruka and, and Hobbs can kind of just keep doing what they're doing. If we can get this up and running and automate the process, we might be able to send Hobbs to be the one to take care of it since he has the backpack that will allow him to stack as needed. Um, as far as I know, that's how it's gonna work anyway. So we'll take a steel bar. Uh, and that took us uh, a lot of our money, about $800, uh, 800 cats. That's kind of insanely high. Gears, robotic components, all things that I'm very eager to mess with at some point. But for now, for now we can't really worry about that too much. We have to kind of take things one, one step at a time. So no building materials, wait. It needs building materials? Iron plates. Didn't I just buy iron plates? I just bought steel bars. Got it. Well, that's not what I was looking for. I need iron plates. Can we get any iron plates? Is that something that we have available to us in Squinters? That's something we're gonna have to make a trek for. Iron plates. Armor plating? That's not what I'm looking for. Iron plates, there we go. That wasn't actually that expensive. The iron bars were a tad bit more expensive, uh, but we can actually throw those iron bars into our storage little keeping pile here that they call organized and Ruka is currently guarding, but isn't all that organized. Now we have to figure out if automating this is exactly as we'd like it to work. So let's go ahead and speed things up a bit and we're gonna get a little excited inside. I'm a little excited deep down because this could be kind of neat. So I'm gonna take Hobbs and bring him over here. 
Now, how does this work? Max capacity 100. So we have to add jobs. So if we hold the shift key when giving an order, so we'll say Hobbs, I want you to mine here. And then when you're done, hauling to storage copper. Okay. Is that how it's going to work? I actually might have him sneak the whole time as well because it'll help up, up his stealth in the, in the meanwhile. Ate some dried meat, so we are going to need some money. That's going to be the big thing. But if this is all it's going to take, we could be good. What if I do this? Okay, that didn't... Uh, he's, he's gathering one. Where are you going? Is he off to, to stack it? Yes, okay. So he's gonna grab one at a time and do that? I feel like that's a poor decision. Now it's just an, it's an, it's an interesting like question of mechanics. Will he grab it when it's fully stacked? I think we let him go for now. I think we let Hobbs kind of do his thing. I'm gonna let him mine. And in the meantime, we need to get some more food. Um, so, also, we, we should be able to sell from here, I guess? Okay, he wants to haul it. So, it's basically somebody mines and somebody hauls. So, if I was to say haul copper to Ruka, Ruka would run out, grab the copper, and then run it back. Alright, we're gonna bag check. I'm gonna find with that. Go ahead and show him my gear. Yep. So Ruka's gonna stand over there. And then every time there's a copper, she runs out and grabs it. I don't know if that's how I want it to go. I I, I'm, I understand the, the thought process there. But what if I just throw it onto him? I can't see into my own house because there's nobody there. I have to have somebody into the house. Okay. Why is this all down a floor, please? There we go. So Hobbs will have you do that. So now the question is, how will this work? Once it's all stashed up, will he just grab all of them? Maybe. Um, well, we're going to run into the bar. Uh, let's slow things down a bit. I know I tend to run things at pretty high speeds, but the reason is, is just a lot of uh, downtime in between. We're just going to buy all your dried meats. I think I'm just going to buy you out. And I need to trade... So you have some, we'll give you three, and then I need you to trade. I heard a yelping? Is there like dying, fighting happening nearby? He's still, he's still mining away. He hasn't picked any of it up yet. But for now, Rust Hilt's uh, grabbed some food and he's gonna run it out to Hobbs while he's mining, just to take care of him. We all know he's out there breaking his back for us right now as we see if this is a viable way of making some money. Uh, I'm kind of hoping it is, but I do need to send him, give him some food regardless. So let's go ahead and send him a couple pieces of dried meat. It's not going to be great. We might even want to look at uh, fighting some goats if they ever come by again. Uh, they're maybe the Garu, I think is what they're called. Anything that, that f walks by and we can drag into... Some, some guards, we might be able to scavenge a little bit off of their bodies that way. So, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna take a moment here, and we'll, we'll, uh, I'm gonna keep playing a little bit, and, uh, we'll phase out here until I am good to continue. I like how we have some personal guards set out here. But I wanna, I wanna see if this is gonna work the way I think it's gonna work. Uh, where he's gonna run it in at, at five. So, I will see you on the other side of this little experiment. All right. Well, it actually seems to be working. Uh, he is he's mining up to five. Ooh, 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 he's mining up to five and then uh, bringing all five into this little storage area. So I need to figure out a way to easily sell this. Um, that's my next wonder. But for now, Hobbs is actually heading out and it seems as there's 
a few nomads actually over here. Uh, I don't know if he can do anything with the nomads. Um, but there's the nomad uh, pack beast as well. Seems to be fine. The nomads don't really do anything. And then there's a goat that belongs to the nomads. This is what we want to find. If we can find a herd of wandering goats, uh, we may be able to kill them and mine them for food. However, this thing is horrifying to call it a goat. Might be a bit high praise, but what passes for a goat here in this in the wastes is a uh, different per. And we've got a bunch of starving bandits. This could prove very, very dangerous. A pack of nomads is uh, crossing paths with a pack of starving bandits, both heading into Squin. Um, the starving bandits at any moment could just strike for food. They are very unpredictable, and usually they're only wandering around looking for food. Uh, and the nomads are going to have quite a lot of food, as is Squin as a whole. But not a, not a concern of Rust Hilts, as he's going to make his way out and grab some steel plates, because what we're going to do... Ooh, interesting. What we're going to do is try and get a stove up and running. Now, the rust plates have been expensive, and food is becoming a, uh, an absolute priority. So, I think with that being, a, a, you know, how low we are on cash and needing, needing to be able to at least get an oven up and running, I think what we're going to do is see if we can get Rust Hilt to break in to this store here. And if we can, we will be able to maybe steal a couple of things. Or at least one thing. Alright, slow it down. Ooh, I heard a growl. But we're alright. We're gonna run up here and see if we can get this lock picked. Even if we can't, it's gonna be good for our skills. He's turned. We're doing it right behind his back as he's watching the hungry bandits walk by. We are no longer a focus. Ooh, ooh. Pack Beast was in the bar. Nomads probably made a stop over there. We'll move in, see if we can get this. Not particularly thrilled at the idea of stealing. Right now, though, it's a matter of making f food easily, more easily accessible. One of our biggest issues is uh, scarcity of food regularly. We don't have as much food at our disposal as we'd like. So, let's swing in here, quiet, and see if we can grab anything. So let's pause and see what we've got. Looking around him, he's looking for steel bars, and immediately we actually have one. We're gonna go over there and grab that while we can. Hopefully, ideally, before we get murdered. Okay. The other thing I'd like to grab is maybe a first aid kit. The leather is interesting, but not particularly needed. Dried fish for food. Okay. Just some basic, basic, basic stuff. Stuff that's going to cost us a lot monetarily. That's just sitting out in the open. Again, it's not something Rust likes to, to, to fall to prey to is, is stealing, but... There's little he can do when it's it's this needed. So let's grab this last thing. And let's get out of here. Let's sneak on out. If we get our bags checked, we're in a lot of trouble. So Rustle needs to make it home quietly. Don't check my bags while I'm going back home. Alright, put that down. Beautiful. And now we should have two steel bars. I'm sorry. I need iron plates, not steel bars. Okay, because I'm dumb. That's fine. We're going to stash, 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 stash. And I'm actually going to stash that there. And I'm going to keep this food in my bag. Temporarily. Put that in there, that in there. I'll even put the Nodachi in there. I don't think I'm going to be using it anytime soon. Well, we grabbed some things that we may need at some point anyway. Uh, let's look at tech real quick. So the big thing for tech that we want... We want tech level two. We need a small house for that. Uh, we're not going to be, well, aren't we in a small house? This is what I'm looking for, a shop counter. So we need four building materials for a shop counter. Um, a shop counter will allow us to what? Sell things? If the, build, if the building in town is open to public visitors and customers will come to buy things. Is that what I'm looking for here? All right. 
I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be able to auto sell copper, but I have an idea. Instead of having him hauling it when it's full, why don't I have Ruka? Where, where, where's my house? Why don't I have, there it is, Ruka automatically run it back and forth. So Ruka will go and grab it all, stash it every single time, and then uh, Hobbs will continue to mine back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now, I don't know if this is the right thing to do, um, but I think it'll actually help. For Ruka, it will be, whoa, 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 Ruka needs to talk. Uh, smuggling checks, open your bags. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um, for Ruka, it'll be good because it will be strength training. Meanwhile, Hobbs is going to have some mining and laboring training all the while. And this can kind of be our back and forth run, always getting copper kind of deposited over and over and over again. And in the meantime, Rust Hilt can kind of run over here, take what he can grab, and we're going to go sell it and make some money. And with luck, we'll be able to restash our food supplies. And this is going to be kind of our, the way we're going to be prepping, I think, a lot of, there we go, our our journey. We, we're, we're ready to, to start a journey, except there's nothing here. The fuck? What happened? Let's double check it again. I'm not quite sure. She doesn't have anything on her. Yeah, it's not there. I don't understand. Okay. Um, that's, that's, I don't understand. Looking for protection, Fragile Flatskin? Who are you calling Fragile? The Fragile Flatskin wishes to prove me wrong. Interesting. Uh, let's see. All of a sudden, this guy at the bar, I don't remember seeing him before. Or maybe I just didn't talk to him and I missed him. Is I'm chatting with him. He's actually having a conversation with me, which is good. Because most, most mercenaries don't tend to have a conversation. They mostly just say how much. So let's see what he says. Haven't you got any skills? I'm a Shek warrior, Flatskin. Do you really need to ask? Uh... That doesn't tell me how skilled you are, or I lose the attitude and maybe we can work something out. I change for no one, you either hire me or you walk away, and in the latter case, you'll die a fool. Uh, how much are you charging anyway? 6,000 cats. I will enjoy the challenge of keeping a fragile flat skin alive. I hear you people get killed very easily. And this is supposed to make me feel better. Do you want to be protected, or do you merely want your ego stroked? Because a Shek does not do the latter. Uh... I don't have enough money. Just a talkative, just a talkative merc. Nothing special, unfortunately. All right. We need um, iron plates to get this thing up and running. So that's what we're going to be looking for here. Spending some time here in check, but it's actually doing us some good. I have to admit. So we just want some iron plates. They're not expensive. We only need two of them. So let's go ahead and swing out this way. How's Hobbs doing as far as food? Still got some food. Ruka also got some food. Rust Hilt. Let's swing him out this way. The hero of our so-called story. So, we're, we actually have a stove here that we're going to put together. And with the stove, I'm hoping we can actually start making things. I'm really eager to see if we can get some food, regular foodstuffs going. But the more things that Rust Tilt starts putting into their house, and the more he realizes a lot of attention needs to be paid to them as... Uh, this technology does not serve itself, the more I realize he may need to bring on a fourth hand. A fourth mercenary. Maybe it'll be one that sticks here and just goes back and forth while him and Ruka go to the east and wander out that way and see what the world has to offer. Or maybe that's who Rustit will take east with him while Ruka and Hobbs remain safe. He wouldn't want his friends to die on his choices, of course. But that's a decision that he's not quite ready to make, as they're still not entirely done setting things up. We also need to set up some training uh, dummies, as well as a training lock picking. We now have a cooking stove. Input, output, Q. Dried meat, cooked veggies, rice bowl. Rice weed and water. 
green fruit, and just raw meat. Pretty basic food, a plain staple food, nutrition of 25, but 10 rice weed feels like a lot. Green fruit, we can make ourselves some cooked veggies. Not, still not quite as easy as I would like it to be, unfortunately for us. But still, there's still the need to set things up. The need to make this place run at least a little bit better. Um, why don't we take all of this and go sell these raw irons that we've kind of just been sticking with. And let's go ahead and sell these. And then we can go buy some more steel plates so we can get everything properly set up. The ability to practice lock picking and bring anybody who has low, uh, low skills in fighting would be good, would be nice for us. So let's go ahead and do that. I think we're just going to buy out all of his armor plate or his steel plating because we seem to be needing it a lot more than uh, anticipated. And I'm okay with that. So we'll just go ahead and spend our money. And again, we're just trying to make as much money as we can as we do this. And it's actually working out nicely. Ruka going back and forth has been great with Hobbs not really doing much else, uh, unfortunately. Um, but with Hobbs out there just mining away, I imagine his his stats have gone up quite considerably. His, la his laboring is at a solid 48 now. Um, his strength hasn't done too much. Ruka going back and forth. Is has her athletics now going up to 30, almost at 35, and her strength has gone up to 20. So while it's it's laborious, obnoxious work, it is paying off for all of them. And now we have a way to train lock picking. And then we can come up here and get this training dummy up. And we are out of iron plates now. So we need more iron plates, but uh, we only need one, so not a big deal. And now we come over here, and this will let us train up to 10 lock picking, which doesn't really help us because we're at 16. It will help Ruka, and it will help Hobbs. But we can actually swing over, and I think... Whoops. I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. We'll see. We can actually see him work on it. And he pops in here and actually starts training, which is fine to have him here because we actually need to trade him some food anyway. So let's go ahead and send him whoop, some food that he can stack up on. Yep, and he can just sit here and, and train away to his heart's content. This will get him up to a lock picking of, of eight if we want. Oh, might as well let him let him hit that eight mark. There you go. And we can just send him out, and he's going to go out and do that. And now Rust Hilt can take all of these, and we can go sell them before he wants to automatically put them back like he weirdly has been wanting to. Good to see you again. Good to see you too, sir. I'm here to sell off all my copper because it's worth not a great amount, but enough. Um, let's see. Maybe we can get some more steel plates from um, the armor, armory and weaponry manufacturers here. Worth checking in, seeing if we can do it. Looks like they have armored face plates. Ooh, interesting. Kind of expensive, but an armored faceplate would be nice to have to protect ourselves, but I can't genuinely feel okay buying it when we still have other things that are not finished within our homestead before we worry about that. And there's a little inn slash bar over here. Let's see if there's anybody who wants to chat with us that we haven't spoken to before. Nines. Let's talk to nines. I think we've already... Are you looking for work? Okay, I guess not. Flatskin, the city isn't for you. Run along, worthless shrimp, before you get trampled on. Bring it on, my dude. I'm ready. I'm ready to fight. Nothing. Couple more dried meats for now. And then there's just this person. Hmm. You looking for work? Ally with a flat skin? Don't make me laugh. Well, that's why we have Ruka, I guess. She could talk to him. Even if she is dishonored, she might be able to get through. And then in here, I don't think we can buy anything from in here, but let's see. Uh, does he have any confiscated goods to sell? No. 
I don't really need to head up there and, and free anybody. The last place is the weapon manufacturing area. We could also think about if we really wanted to go hardcore, we could also buy the second longhouse if we if we can figure out an industry where that could use both. Not quite sure that's what we want to be doing yet, though. Our characters here are not quite ready to be throwing that out the wall. Or out the window, rather. Wow. Man, nothing. Alright, well. We may need to wait for morning for them to get their restock, then. Not a big deal. We have 2.4 thousand. We actually have a nice flow of stuff coming in. The other thing I want to see is smithing. We might want to start some smithing. I don't know what we need. But being able to make some some basic armor, maybe that'll that'll be worth it more. Uh, I just don't know what the requirements are um, to to making some of this stuff. So while we can make these armor types, I don't know if they'd be any good. But it might be better than just scratching or pulling armor off of dead people constantly. All this farming we can't really do yet. We need a book. Alright, one book is what we need. Do we have a book in here? No. I don't think we have a book over here. No. But we know that there are books to be bought in... Well, there were books to be bought in the hub. I think we're going to make a trip. I'm going to let Rook and Hobbs keep doing what they're doing. Um, let's make sure they both have some food. They do. I think Rustilt's going to make a day trip to Squin. Or rather, to uh, to the hub. Or the bar outside the hub. Because I think we might be able to find ourselves books out there. So, let's get to Rustilt, who's quite fast. We can have him sneaking as well. I think we're just going to have him head off to the hub. Keep working on his stealth. Keep working on his athletics along the way. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I know I'm fine. And we're gonna make our way back that way, as we've been doing quite so, uh, quite often. Wandering assassin shinobi thieves, they're fine. Those are for us. Alright, you know what? Screw the sneaking. Go. The same trek Rust Tilt has made so many times. Over the hills, past Squin, a little off the beaten path, but it's it's come known to be safe. He's made this trek many, many times, and it's much faster to do it this way than to follow the roads pre uh, than to follow the roads predestined by the, uh, by regular travelers. Most say the roads are the safest way to travel, but this has proven much more beneficial. For Rust Tilt. Oh shit. Oh, don't put oh shit in. Well, seems we've found a bit of a problem. I hope we're not being attacked. Doesn't seem to be. Hungry, starving bandits. Only about three of them. And I'm not quite sure where they're going. Oh, there's quite more, quite a few more than three. But Rust Hilt is, yeah, Rust Hilt's fast. I think he's actually going to be faster than them. They do catch eyes, and that's about, ooh, what do we think? About 10 to 15 of them? Yeah, they gave up pretty quickly. Rust Hilt is way faster than they are. He's made these treks along the wastelands numerous times. His legs carry him quite far. Even with weight in his backpack, he is uh, a man to be rivaled when it comes to trying to catch him. Hand over your food and you won't slaughter us? Well, good luck. Good luck. I don't think you'll be slaughtering Rust Hilt anytime in the near future. Rust Hilt just kind of says nothing. Dot, dot, dot. Not particularly threatened by these fools. And now that he checks and starts to sneak, he realizes they've lost him. They're shouting into the void, hoping their threats out in the open will cause Rust Hilt to cower and, and give away his position. Maybe shout out, I give up, I give up, but no, they can't see him, and Rustilt knows that. If anything, he's been become quite adept at running away. And here we are, home away from home, our second home, the hub. Let's set ahead in here and see if there's anything worth grabbing. We can always check the Shinobi Thieves as well and see if they have anything worth buying. 
Heft, huh? Oh yeah, Heft has got no skills at all. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy her for nothing. Stone. Nothing here for stone. Ever need help smoothing things over with the hounds, you know where to find me. Ooh, all right, good to know. Excuse me, sir, do you have any books for sale? Books is what I need. You do, actually. You do. You have some good food, too. But I think I'm just gonna take the books from you. We'll even take a food cube. I can't afford a food cube, because I just bought all the books. Uh, I am broke. All right, good enough. Let's head back to Squin. And this, these journeys are, are, I don't know, oddly satisfying to make. It's really enjoyable for me to be able to go from one town to the next and feel like uh, these journeys are, they're still dangerous, but being able to make them, successfully making them, is, is really enjoyable for some reason. It feels like an, a weird accomplishment, especially considering our start here in the hub and how how far we've come. Uh, granted, it, it probably doesn't feel that far for people watching, you know, eight episodes in and we only have a house and some other other belongings. But there's been a lot of time put into that. The amount of time I've had to put in to get to where I am is substantial and you're only seeing a fraction of, of the amount of work I have to do. Um, but it's really kind of cool to, to feel like we've made progress now. I'm actually gonna stop here. Not stop the recording, but stop Rust Tilt here. And I'm actually gonna load his backpack up with some copper, and I'm gonna have him run back to Squin with a backpack full of copper. And the reason for that is uh, mostly physical training. Rust Tilt's still st stressed out, frustrated that every time he gets into a fight, even though he picks fights with groups of 10, he sees them weak and, and malnourished and figures he could slash them once each once or twice like a, like a true uh, wasteland samurai and win, but he keeps failing. He needs to keep training. So he's gonna get his, he's gonna do a little strength training on the way back to the hub. It's gonna kind of drain him a bit, but I think it'll be worth it. I'm gonna fill his bags with some copper until he's at um, about maximum total weight until this is about heavy. And uh, he needs to, he's gonna be moving a little bit slower. We'll see. Mining now serves a dual purpose. It makes money, and it is the crux of everything that Ruka, Hobbs, and Rust Hilt make. But there's a secondary benefit to mining, one that I feel like Rust Hilt has forgotten or ignored. And that is the pure strength training that comes from carrying heavy objects. This coming to mind, Rust Hilt takes a quick detour. Time to load up. His backpack's pretty much full. He's got a light weight uh, being carried. It's not an, an you know incredible amount of weight. His strength is actually much higher than I remember. Being a, a 19 is is real good. Um, and look how fast he can still run. This is at normal speed, even with the backpack full of copper ore. And that's quite a lot of money that he's going to be making. At least quite a lot of money for us. Our goal moving forward, and obviously our party's goal in turn, is to just prepare for the trip east. That is everything that they are doing right now. They've kind of become a colony of ants. Three ants only, but a colony of ants nonetheless. Also that they can prepare to head east. But we don't know what the wasteland holds. Traveling past this little bubble that we've created for ourselves pr proves to be nothing but dangerous with the amount of bandits out there. But we have to know. So I think the goal is to properly buy enough food and have enough food for us to move out that way. Maybe recruit one more person, uh, which is going to take some money saving uh, anyway. And to maybe make some better armor for ourselves with some cloth uh, research. Once we're freshly equipped with better, at least slightly better armor, maybe have another person and we have ourselves a bit of a, bit of a place to call home, I think Rust Hilt's going to grab one, one of his friends and head east. Rust Hilt has to be the one to go, though. He has to know what's out there. There could be the answer to all of his problems. It could be a settlement with rare things to buy. It could be a settlement of people willing to join. It could be a, a settlement of people will, wanting to murder him. Or it could be an abandoned settlement filled with treasures from ancient times or uh, more modern times. But still treasures lie about. I don't know. I'm excited to find out. I'm very excited to find out. But if anything, uh, the one thing I learned before starting to play Kenshi was better to be safe than sorry. So we're going to do it this way. We're going to be safe. We're going to be careful. We're not going to overdo it. 
And we're going to see what we can make happen here. So let's head into this area. Let's sell the copper that we brought. Oh, you're moving because you have copper on you and you're close. So let's just sell all this off right now. Make ourselves a good hunk of cash. And now you are you don't even know where you're going. You just want to head out. But let's go ahead and swing it back this way. And we now have books that we're going to go ahead and throw into our research bench. And while Ruka and Hobbs continue to do what they're doing, we are going to do research for basic clothing. Can we prepare to build more and better clothing for ourselves? I'm curious how much they've stacked since we've been gone. 17. That's quite good. Ruka's going to keep doing her thing. Let's run over here. Our our mission to the hub was a success. I'll put that in there. And we'll open up our tech and we want to do cloth manufacturing. Followed by cloth types and hats and headgear. And basic weaponsmithing. I think we'll do all of that. All of those basic things. And have Rust Hilt begin to do the research here. Ruka, let's have you take everything that you can. We'll go ahead and have you sell this off before you run back out and grab the copper. Nope, nope, don't move. <laughs> I gotta get you to do this. And we'll go ahead and have you trade. Sell, sell, sell. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. That, 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 that. And now Ruka can go about. Guess I'll just let Ruka keep carrying that thing. That, that sword is so cool. I know it's not great, but it's so neat. Ruka, where are you going? Heading back out? Okay. Hobbs is still doing his thing. Laboring at 53. His strength needs uh, quite a lot of work. Quite a lot of work, but... I think one of our better options, too, is maybe to get a bodyguard for, for Hobbs at some point. Have someone stationed out there to protect him while he's doing that. We've been attacked by bandits multiple times in that one spot. We've been lucky for this particular session because we haven't been attacked, but... It certainly is something that we need to think about. So you guys still have food. Hook is going through a ton of food right now. Because of how how much she's she's doing some work. So again, let's go ahead and grab some food from the bar. No, no, no. In. Chat. I know you don't like me, but make do. Grab four of those for now. A little something to munch on some food. Poor Hobbs has been out here for days and days and days on end. He has not moved from this place. Hasn't slept. Only eating whatever food is given to him. Dried fish mostly, but it's not like that's... It's not like he can complain. Luxury food is hard to come by. <laughs> but for now, it's working out nicely. Let's see. Cloth manufacturing is finished. Can we actually do research? Can we actually do industry cloth bench three iron plates but yes we can why don't we put this upstairs Ugh, there is no no indoors on the upstairs so never mind i don't want to do that confirm that so what do we need um we need three iron plates and i don't think we have them but let's take a look we have steel bars. So three iron plates is, again, not a huge, a huge buy. Uh, especially since this, this store has been, you know, replenishes overnight. Um, wherever they end up getting them, that's fine. <laughs> I'm not going to question it, but I need them. Uh, we need three of them. Here's five. We'll take all five. And we'll swing back in and we'll get that built. That's fine. Always harassing us, man. Always harassing us. I know they don't like us because of who we are, but come on. Be a little kinder to us. We're trying to make an industry out of your, in your little town, and uh, all you want to do is harass us constantly. One day we're going to move out of this place, Squin. One day you're going to regret that you were 
cruel to us. We've done nothing but try to be good. Every time we try to be good, anytime we try to do anything good, we get punished for it. Russ still loses his family. Ruka gets her horns cut off. Hobbs, God knows what Hobbs is doing before he was just being a criminal in the hub. Just uh, rejects, all of us, rejects and constantly kicked into the dirt, telling us we're worth nothing. Even though we do everything in our power to prove that we're worth something. All right. We need fabrics now, and the output can be... Nothing right now. Martial arts bindings. Interesting. We can make ourselves martial artists. I have such an interesting idea for a future playthrough in, in Kenshi. If, if people want, you know, a season two after this is all done. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it, though. But I have, I have some cool I have some cool ideas for some interesting stories. I think we could tell here in Kenshi just to just to wet your whistle a little bit. Mm. I'm sure Dean loves hearing me just doing that. All right, we need to keep researching because the clothing types is what we want because that's going to allow us to build other things. So let's speed, let them finish that. Hats and headgear, and then all of it. Let's get all of that researched. All right, I think we're going to swap out, actually, now that I think about it. Let's get rid of this and this. And I want Ruka to be the one to do this. And I want Hobbs to be the one that does this. I want him storing now, back and forth. I want Ruka being the one to mine. Swap it up a bit. I want his his stats to start going up. His strength desperately needs some training. So I think we're going to go ahead and just do it this way. It's going to be a little bit slower with Ruka doing it. But in the meantime, we can actually go ahead and have him do all of that. We'll slow things down. I want to make sure he's not putting it away. We'll have you go over here and go across the street and sell it. Consistently inflating this market with some more iron, more raw copper than they ever need. But it's working. See, this is why he needs to be training. Look how slow he is. Go over here, we're gonna sell it. Hey, Hobbs. How's it going? Okay. All of it. Beautiful. Was there anything we wanted out of them? A bull backpack isn't necessary. I thought he had a, the a shinobi backpack, but we can go grab a shinobi backpack elsewhere. He actually has books. Why don't we grab a few more books and throw those into the research bench for now? I didn't realize he actually had that many books. I'm just dumb. And a map of the Shek Kingdom? Why not? Let's have him crack this map now. Yeah, all right. And that does add areas to the west. The Great Fortress, The Last Stand, and Admang. Well, we're finding some interesting spots on the map. Not bad spots, just interesting ones. All right, let's have Hobbs run in here, throw those books into the research bench. Let's get as much as the as of the basic research as, as done as we possibly can. And now Hobbs can kind of do his own thing. There he goes. I love how automated it can get. All right, back into tech. Uh, weapon grades, we might as well start getting that researched. Training is done. A small house, I think we'll eventually need. Actually, let's get rid of the small house. Fabric measure. We can make our own fabric. Yeah, that's probably good. Indoor lighting. All this other stuff is stuff for when we actually want to set up a, a, a proper settlement. So, we're going to get all that researched, but... We, we're not going to be able to really put a lot of it to use for a little while. Not until we are done um, with, with, with this town, basically, all told. No combat this episode, either. That's very surprising. Usually we see a ton of combat, but it's, it's a quiet few days here in the Wastes. The Shek Kingdom has been, has been like, led quiet. There's this bandit camp over here that, that Russ still, still wants vengeance on. Tempting to, to fight them, but he's he's kind of torn. Here's, here's why he's torn. He can either go out there, grab them, and pull them back to the guards and have the Shek ruin them. And there's a, there's a satisfaction there. You know, they, they die. They, he, can, he can watch them die. It'll be quite like the sh a show. But he also could just train to the point where he can take them. And he can take personal vengeance on them for the... The horrible beatdown they laid upon him his first moments within Squin. 
made him worry that Squin was going to be way more dangerous than the hub, when in reality it's a lot safer. But our first impressions weren't quite that. It's tough. It's a tough decision, and one that he's going to have to make. But one he's going to have to make another day. Hours spent on a machine, teaching himself everything his parents were supposed to teach him. How to live in the wastelands, how to build things in the wastelands, how to survive and make a life in a world that wants nothing more than you to die. Hours spent mining, the same node as the sun rises and sets, sleeping outside, eating whatever provisions you can get your hand on, while one of your friends runs back and forth to take what you've mined and sell it for money. It's not as exciting as it once was, but it's also not as dangerous. The east is still out there, beyond the hills, a settlement still calls. And while the three of them prepare themselves for that trip, they can't help but feel slightly satisfied for all the hard work that they've done has made them more progress in 48 hours than the past 20 days in the wasteland alone. It may not seem like much, but the future continues to get brighter for our heroes. <laughs>